Okay, today we're going to talk about driving distance, and Alex here is going to help me with this. Um, driving the ball for distance, I mean, obviously you have to have good sound fundamentals and pretty good swing mechanics, but you also have to have strength and flexibility. And Alex spends a lot of time working on core strength. He goes to the gym and he works on exercises that are pertaining to golf strength and fitness and legs. So Alex has got a lot of strength and flexibility. And he, we're going to show you a few examples of how you utilize those attributes to hit a golf ball and generate a lot of club head speed. So Alex, take your set up for a minute. And you know, Alex obviously is in a great structural position to hit a golf ball, great fundamentals. Alex, take your back swing up to the top. When Alex reaches the top, you can see his flexibility is really valuable here. He's got a wonderful shoulder turn of 90 plus degrees. He's really maintained great posture and good core strength. So Alex has kept his body in good posture, bent and flexed over the ball while maintaining a sound, solid right knee, and his head stayed very steady. Now as Alex comes back down into the golf ball and arrives at impact, as you can see, Alex has stayed in very good posture. He's moved his weight into his left side. He's remained in posture with his head behind the ball, and his arms are now fully starting to extend through the impact area where the club head speed is generated. And he's posting on the left side, and it's going to be a really good golf shot. So go ahead and hit a golf shot for us, Alex. And let's take a look at that wonderful swing. I wish you were here to see that. That's a good one. Well over 300 yards. So that's kind of the uh, things that are going to help you hit the ball. So work on your strength, flexibility, good sound fundamentals and mechanics, and you're going to hit the ball with more distance.